Hey everyone, you know the Earth is home to no shortage of amazing places, like beautiful mountain ranges and crystal clear lakes. There are some places on our planet that really don't look normal. These places you'd perhaps expect to see on an alien world, so join me for today's video as we take a look through 15 of the strangest places in the world. Number 15. The Antarctica Blood Falls all right, so the name says it all on this one. The Blood Falls is a waterfall that spurts blood red water into the river below in Antarctica. The first ever record of the Blood Falls was back in 1911 in the McMurdo Dry Valley, and one can only imagine how frightened those people must have been when they saw it. Scientists originally believed that the Blood Falls were just a product of the red algae, but no one was ever able to prove that hypothesis. But science has come a long way since then, and so it wasn't until 2017 that the mystery of the Blood Falls was finally solved. Researchers at the University of Alaska Fairbanks discovered the true origin of this horror movie come to life. The red color is a result of the iron in the brine saltwater oxidizing, which is the same reaction that causes rust. But Rust Falls doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Blood Falls does, so I'm glad they kept the name. Number 14. The Catatumbo River the Catatumbo River runs from Colombia to Venezuela and experiences such intense forms of lightning that they've decided to name the phenomenon after it. It's also known as the Everlasting Storm. Catatumbo lightning occurs when about 30 lightning strokes strike per minute, with a total of about 160 lightning storms a year, with each one lasting about 9 hours a day. Yeah, that's pretty intense. The Catatumbo lightning occurs specifically because of the river's proximity to the Andes Mountains that surround it. Heating and cooling patterns form, strong winds blow, and the air here is incredibly humid. The water from the river evaporates and the wind moves the warm air toward the colder mountain air. Ice crystals form and come into contact with the humid water droplets, and then the light show begins. It is the perfect recipe for what some may call the perfect storm, and it can't happen anywhere else in the world, not like this at least. And it's been going on for a while, I'm talking centuries. The Catatumbo River was once an important trade route, and the ships would use heavy lightning storms as beacons in the distance. The energy emitted from the Catatumbo lightning is enough to power 100 million light bulbs, and the heat generated is three times hotter than the surface of the sun. This is one storm you do not want to be stuck in. Number 13. The Stone Forest In China's Yunnan Province is a stunning 270 million year old forest. And while you'll find plenty of trees here, it's the stones that give the stone forest its name. The stone forest covers about 300 square kilometers of the landscape, and it's absolutely stunning to say the least. The forest has undergone millennia of seismic activity and water and wind erosion to give the limestone its unique shapes and formations, and has since become a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and for good reason too. The enormous pillars almost create huge networks of labyrinths that we're sure are plenty easy to get lost in, which is fine because why would you ever want to leave that majestic place? The most famous stone here is the Ashima Stone. It's said to have formed after a beautiful young girl named Ashima turned to stone after having been forbidden to marry the man she loves. The locals also hold the Torch Festival every June, which includes plenty of dancing, dragon playing, bullfighting, and wrestling. When looking at the stone forest from afar, it's hard to believe that something this majestic, this magical, and this strange can even exist it looks like something only the most creative and thoughtful minds could have ever conceived. But then again, that's part of the beauty of nature. Let's just say, this place rocks. Number 12. Darvaza Gas Crater Alright, at the end of the day, no one really knows for sure if there's an afterlife. But if you see this ever-burning hole out in the middle of nowhere, then you may think twice. Located near the village of Deweze, the Darvaza gas crater is a 230-foot hole that's been burning now for 40 years, and it's showing no sign of slowing down. How does something like this happen, and is there a giant three-headed dog guarding it? Well, the answer to that first question is quite simple. The Darvaza gas crater was opened when the former Soviet Union was drilling in the Karakum Desert, and accidentally came across a pocket of natural gas. A sinkhole ensued and the rig collapsed, releasing these noxious fumes into the air. But the drilling team set fire to the sinkhole to keep the gas from further releasing into the air, and assumed that the fire would go away in just a few days. But you know what happens when you assume. Cut to 40 years later and the sinkhole is still going strong. There have been some efforts to put the fire out, but let's just say that those plans have all turned to ash. While a bit unsettling, the Darvaza gas crater has become one of the country's most popular tourist destinations, and offers a different type of oasis for hikers. You could say this place is pretty lit. Number 11. Shutse Island 
Schertsee Island is a volcanic island just off the southern coast of beautiful Iceland, formed by an underwater volcanic eruption in 1963. The eruption happened 430 feet below sea level and lasted for a full four years. So what started out as an empty space in the ocean became a one square mile island covered in a massive plume of smoke, sulfur, and ash. But today, Schertze Island is just a half a square mile due to wave erosion. But it did catch the attention of volcanologists and botanists as this once barren land became colonized by plant life. Named after Surtur, a fire giant from Norse mythology, Schertze Island was created by the same underwater volcanic system that created a bevy of other smaller volcanic island chains, many of which have eroded away. But standing at 509 feet above sea level, Schertze Island demands our collective attention, and it's even been estimated that it will remain above sea level for the next century. The young island does see some human activity as researchers come and go, but systems have been put in place to keep their footprint to the bare minimum, and only the true inhabitants of the islands are birds like gulls and puffins, whose droppings act as fertilizer for the local plant life. Aside from the occasional scientist, this island is as close to the land before time as we're gonna get. Number 10. The Crooked Forest Poland's Crooked Forest is home to some of the strangest and most ominous-looking trees anywhere. They're all bare and blend at the same point and they're all at the same angle, and to add to the weirdness is the fact that no one really has a great answer as to why this phenomenon happens. But you better believe that people have had their wild theories. Local lore will tell you that the trees were planted around the year 1930, not even 10 years before World War II would engulf the region, so there's the theory that war and explosions caused the strange curves. But then there are the people who believe that the trees achieved their look via man-made methods and techniques, with the hope of freaking people out in the future, which is a total possibility. But then you have the fringe people who believe these trees got their shape from aliens, witches, energy fields, and the like. Chances are, we'll never know the true reason for these crooked trees' existence, but one thing's for certain. Getting here at the crack of dawn when the entire crooked forest is covered in a thick blanket of fog is one of the most beautiful yet chilling things you'll ever have the privilege of seeing. Number 9. Mirror of the Sky How great would it be if you could look up to the sky without having to crane your neck? Yeah, and don't forget about the sun hurting your eyes. Well, the sky mirror will solve all of those problems for you. Instead of looking up to the heavens, all you have to do is look down. This unique natural phenomenon happens on the waters of Sasaran Beach in Kuala Lumpur twice a month during the new moon and the full moon period. This is the two times a month when the tide is lowest for two days. The smooth sands of this beach and the minimal yet perfect amount of water create what looks like a mirror on the ground for as far as the eye can see. And it's absolutely stunning. Look to your left and it looks like someone is running on air. Look to your right and you'll see someone laying amongst the clouds. This phenomenon has earned the beach the nickname Mirror of the Sky. Naturally, the Mirror of the Sky is an incredibly popular tourist attraction and perhaps the perfect place for a well-timed photo op as well. And to add to the magic of it all, baby clams are scattered all over the beach. The island that this beach sits on is located just off the mainland coast and it's accessible by just a 30-minute boat ride. Number 8. Honga Tonga Rome may not have been built in a day, but one of the youngest islands in the world was created in less than a month. At the tail end of 2014, the undersea volcano Honga Tonga Honga Haapai in the South Pacific began to erupt furiously for the second time in five years. At first, it was just a white plume of smoke bursting through the ocean, but things got a lot crazier over the next few weeks and those plumes of ash and rock started to reach 30,000 feet high, only to fall back down below. If you were in the general vicinity, it must have felt like Armageddon. But things began to eventually quiet down, and in mid-January of 2015, a new island was formed, standing 300 feet above sea level. But the cooling magma of this new island began to move and spread to other nearby volcanic islands, as the volcano at its center quickly filled with gorgeous light blue water. This new lake in Honga Tonga is extremely sulfuric, but that hasn't stopped life from finding its way to the island. The new island, it's said, is going to erode within a few decades, but for now, the island is home to a steadily growing population of birds who can live away from any human contact. Number 7. La Mano del Desierto The Atacama Desert in northern Chile is the driest non-polar desert on Earth, so it makes sense that it's in the middle of nowhere. But if you can find it, there's a small gravel road leading up to a surprising find, a giant cement hand reaching 36 feet out of the sand. It's known as La Mano del Desierto, or the Hand of the Desert. 
The area was once located off the isolated center of Chile's copper mining industry, and the sculptor Mario Mario Izarazabal created this reaching hand as a monument to the emptiness of the Atacama Desert in 1992. It's over 25 feet high. Although it is a popular attraction, it's surrounded by nothing but sand and low hills as far as the eye can see. The closest destination to the hand is 60 miles away, so if you do visit this monument, it's best not to get lost because you'll be walking aimlessly for days. Number 6. Marble Cathedral all right, head over to Chile again to see the Marble Cathedral, a series of marble caves in Cuevas de Marmol, which are only accessible by boat. This unusual, epic yet natural formation is the product of more than 6,000 years of erosion caused by waves beating against the rock day in and day out. Found on Lake General Carrera, the otherworldly and perfectly smooth rock beautifully reflects the seafoam green water, sapphire blues, and has more of a frosty gray finish. When you visit the Marble Cathedral, it's hard to believe that they weren't man-made, but believe it, they're all natural. And they even change colors during the year to reflect the water levels and the sunlight. In the spring, the walls take on a more turquoise hue, while in the summer months, as the glaciers melt and the sea levels rise, they reflect a deeper shade of blue. The walls essentially provide a blank canvas for some amazing natural artwork. But to add to the mystery and mysticism of the caves from the outside, they're incredibly unassuming. It isn't until you venture inside that the real magic happens. So save up your money, because one visit to the Marble Cathedral in Chile is obviously not enough. Number 5. The Red Beach Beaches may not be synonymous with China, but one wetland in particular will have you feeling like you finally made it to another planet. Dawa County is home to the largest wetland area in the world, and the Red Beach gets its name from the rare and lush bright red vegetation that grows there. The flora here is a form of what's known as a kinopodium, and it's able to grow here especially because of the alkaline soil in the area. But this fantasy marsh is also home to another rare species, the red-crowned crane, which is why many locals will also call the beach the home of the cranes. The red-crowned crane is also a symbol of luck, longevity, and fidelity, so seeing one amongst the gorgeous red plants is a real treat for anybody. The ecosystem here is delicate, which is why it's protected by the Chinese government, but tourists and locals alike can enjoy the one-of-a-kind scenery via wooden walkways. Number 4. Bangar Fort What could be creepier than traversing down the dark corridors of the ruins of an ancient civilization? Yeah, not much. You'll find the Bangar Fort in Rajasthan, a state of India. Built by a 15th century ruler, the once flourishing kingdom saw its population decrease due to a famine, which eventually caused the remaining citizens to leave. By the year 1783, the place was totally desolate and only Bangar Fort remained. Over the years, so many people were insisting that the fort was cursed to the point that the government recognized it as legally haunted. Now a government permit is required to enter the fort between dawn and sundown. The government will tell you that the visiting hours are the best times to stay safe from the local wildlife, but it's tough to believe that they've already admitted that it's haunted. So who knows what exactly goes on in the dark recesses of the Bangar Fort when the sun goes down. Number 3. Winchester Mystery House There was a time in the United States when Winchester was the biggest name in rifles, and many people had unfortunately been shot down by William Wart Winchester's firearm. But his wife, Sarah Winchester, believed she was being haunted by all of the spirits who were shot down by the Winchester rifle. So when she went ahead and designed a Victorian home, she had to make sure that none of these spirits would be able to find her while she was at home. But this was by no means your typical house. Sarah Winchester built what is essentially a labyrinth to confuse the vengeful spirits and let them get lost in the house. The Winchester Mystery House is four stories tall with 160 rooms, 10,000 window panes, and 47 stairways. And many of these windows and stairways lead to absolutely nothing, and it's not uncommon to open a door only to be greeted by a wall or the occasional secret passage. But despite the scares, it's a very popular tourist attraction in San Jose, California. But make sure you don't get separated from the group, because you may never be able to find your way out. Number 2. The Giant's Causeway Make your way over to County Antrim on the north coast of Northern Ireland, and you'll find the breathtaking 40,000 interlocking basalt columns known as Giant's Causeway. Declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO back in 1986 and a National Treasure Reserve the next year by the Department of the Environment for Northern Ireland, Giant's Causeway is the result of a volcanic fissure eruption millions of years ago. 
To us landlubbers, the tops of all 40,000 of these giant columns form the stepping stones that lead from the foot of the cliffs and then disappear under the sea. But change your perspective just a bit, and really the Giant's Causeway is a giant stone staircase leading from the ocean to the surface world. And the tallest of these volcanic stones are around 39 feet high and can be about 92 feet thick in some places. So while they've been eroding over the last few millennia, it's quite likely that the strange formation will outlive us all, making it the perfect place for the sea dwellers to finally make their mark on land when we're all gone. Number 1. Akodasawa Fetish Market In the West African country of Togo, they call it Vudo, in Benin, Vudon, but most of us are more familiar with the Haitian term for it, Voodoo. And while it's not quite like what we see in the movies and on television, voodoo is alive and well in certain parts of the world. You could perhaps even argue that it's thriving. Togo's capital city, Lome, is the birthplace of the largest voodoo market in the world, the Akodesewa Fetish Market. Step on in and you'll be treated to all sorts of strange findings and oddities that the locals have all grown quite accustomed to. Quite the opposite of your local farmer's market, the Akodesewa fetish market sells all sorts of unique trinkets to aid in specific rituals. This is a one-stop shop for anything from talismans to leopard heads to shrunken human skulls. Local voodoo priests also set up shop here to bless customers' homemade fetishes, help predict the future, and offer guidance, and will even do their best to procure medicines for various ailments. And while this fetish market is definitely strange to many outsiders, there's one important thing to remember. Voodoo isn't the villainous practice portrayed in the various forms of media. In fact, voodoo is the most widely practiced religion in Benin. And while the local Benese people own and operate fetish market, people come from all over the African continent to get their hands on many of those procurements. For many people, the stalls with the shrunken heads and animal skulls are a hospital or pharmacy. It's where people can go when they can't afford more traditional treatments. You'll find cures for the flu, fertility treatments, and even objects and rituals to remove curses. When it comes to the practice of voodoo, every living creature has a connection to the divine and serves a purpose in the cycle of life and death. Which is why this fetish market sells monkeys, alligators, goats, leopards, and gazelles. The list goes on. But most of these deceased animals are in some sort of post-mortem decay, all stacked in huge piles as far as the eye can see. Luckily, all of this takes place outside, because one can only imagine what it smells like on a hot day in there. The market is probably a jarring sight for any tourist who happens to stumble upon it, and it's definitely not the place for animal lovers. But for the locals who practice this age-old tradition, this fetish market isn't just a treasure trove, it's a necessity. I'll see you next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.